Hey guys, my name is Dave Bennett, and in this video, I'm going to show you a free tool that will let you optimize as many images as you want for as many websites as you want. And when it optimizes them, it'll create the optimized ones here and the originals there, so that in case any of the optimized ones happens to look fuzzy after all, which is really rare, then you can go into the original and you can uh, take the matching one and pull it out, right? So like maybe, and I'm just going to use a sample set here to make the point. By the way, we clocked 9,000 images in 45 minutes, I believe it was, in one test early on. Some crazy thing like that. So you can do this kind of work easily for as many people as you want. All your clients, all your own websites. Okay, so this is a really simple um, thing that you can even charge for if you feel like it, all right? So you can service anyone, and it's totally free to you. Okay, so let me just show you how it works. By the time this video is over, you're going to be able to sign up for that tool and just start using it. Okay, so I'm just going to use all these images. And in case you're wondering, they kind of look the same, but they're not really. Okay, they're actually variations of an image. And that's something we also teach and help people do with some more premier tools. But it's totally just for a different purpose. So it doesn't matter what images I use. It doesn't matter if they're the same size or whatever. It doesn't matter what their names are. They can be JPG, PNG, right? Like PNG, quant, PNG. In other words, we can do this with transfer, well, with transparent PNGs. We can do this with regular images, okay? So without further ado, here's how this would look. Okay, if you do a search for page speed, right? This is just, for those of you who don't know, page speed has a lot to do with rank. Nobody likes to wait for a web page to load. So one of the factors Google cares about is the faster your page can load, the better. For the stuff it has on it, is it optimized, right? Is it loading as fast as it's able to load, right? So PageSpeed Insights gives you the ability to put in any URL and just to analyze. And it'll go read your page and tell you what it looks like. So here's one of our websites, Locksmith website happens to be. Okay, and I'm using it because it's got the same kind of images on it. So I want to make this point. It's in the green, both for mobile and desktop. Didn't used to be. It was in the red for mobile and barely made it yellow for desktop, okay? And the one biggest thing we did to change that was optimizing the images. Lots of websites out there have the same issues. They can rank a lot higher if they would just take one minute to overwrite the images with optimized ones. Yeah, it'll take maybe five minutes. <laughs> so here's how this works. Go to software-installer.com. Okay, that's really all you need to do. Just go to software-installer.com. It'll bring up this page, okay? Now, the free version of this tool, you can register for it here, and you can log in here, okay? So let's just click the registration link, and it'll take us to this page here. So you just enter a first and last name and an email for delivery, right? And now, that way you can get access. And so then a coupon code is required. So Whatever coupon code you use to, to get this far, right? Whoever showed you this video, use it. If you do not have, and, and then just register, okay? And then there's your instructions for logging in. If you do not have a coupon code at all, if you just sort of stumble across this on your own, it's just five bucks to get a coupon code. Then you can fill this in with your own coupon code and you can go ahead and register and log in, okay? Either way, you're gonna be able to log in. <laughs> all right, so once you log in, Okay, then first things first, change your password, okay, just to protect the stuff you're going to do, because you're going to add websites, whatever websites you want, because there are a lot of really cool tools in here. Many of these are free, and they do huge things to improve rank at the push of a button, okay. When you can optimize images, uh, where is that, the image optimizer's in here, right there. When you can minify files, when you can create sitemaps, when you can create a backup so that you just have one really, really fast for a client, right? You can charge them to create, you know, 25 bucks to create weekly backups. It just takes you a minute. You hit like two buttons, it's done, okay? Page speed booster just takes like 10 seconds or five, and it makes huge changes to people's uh, page speeds. <laughs> and you can literally measure the, uh, the amount of the change, okay? A lot of cool free tools in here and some premium ones as well. If you're interested in upgrading to them, doesn't matter. There's no timer on the free side of the house. So check this out. I am going to go to the images optimizer right here just to show you how this works. Okay. You can watch the video if you want, but take a look. As you can imagine, this is not going to be hard. I'm going to take all my images here. Okay. Let me uh, kind of pull that down. All right. I'm going to take them all at once. Okay. 
Hello. Oh, how'd that happen? Pulled my page over. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. And I shift clicked it to highlight them all, and I'm just going to drag them in here. Okay. And I'm going to let that work. <laughs> and it's actually working. Like I said, I think we processed something like 9,000, and maybe it was 45 minutes. Maybe it was a little longer. I don't remember. It might have been an hour, 45 minutes. It was a long time ago since we did it. Um, but the fact of the matter is this does the job. So, you know, let's say you're walking away and grabbing a cup of coffee and walking back, right? And heck, I may as well do it. But literally, you can see it's about halfway done by now. I'm going to go ahead and pause, uh, get a little coffee. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just want to go ahead and uh, watch this thing finally unfurl. So there it is. Now, just watch what it's saying. The original was 817 kilobytes, right? The optimized one is 66.42 kilobytes, right? The reduction is like 92%, okay? It's um, it's probably done by now. Yeah, okay, there you go. Just no time at all, right? And sure enough, we took 160 odd images, which is like easily enough for most any website, right? And it's showing us what the difference is. Can you imagine how much weight we're saving if we had like five of these images on one web page well now they are all one tenth the size we got rid of 90 percent of the weight of each image and they look basically identical to the human eye okay so now you can do, download any one image just by hitting the link for it like if i hit that link right there you know it'll download that image it's right there and if i open it, it looks about the same Okay, for all intents and purposes, it's the same, right? Now, if I want to just download all the images, let's see how that works because it's pretty cool, all right? So it's going to go and create that right there is the file, and it's going to create both versions inside that zip file. It's going to have the originals and the optimized ones, right? That way we don't lose the originals just in case we need them. Now that it's downloaded, I can go just check it real quick. Okay, let me just kind of uh, do this. Um, WinZip extract to a folder called optimized. I'll just make one real quick, right? And that way, you know, I can go in there and see what it looks like. Make sure I got everything. Okay. And of course, I know I did. All right. So here are the original ones. You can tell they're like 830 kilobytes, you know, depending on the wording, like 829 kilobytes are pretty close to the same thing, every one of them. Now, if I go into the optimized folder, right, <laughs> now let's take a look, right? So this is just 64, 68 kilobytes, <laughs> you know, 70 kilobytes. So it's literally like just 10% of the weight. You don't know how many websites, until you start working with websites, never do this. They don't optimize images. I don't know how important it is. It takes a long time to load big images. Let's call this orange, you know, original, really. I'm going to put all these in there because they're the originals. That way I just got to back up real quick. Okay. Like I can upload them to the website. That doesn't have to do with how fast the page loads, right? I just got them for backup. Okay. So that's my originals for backup. But let's take a look real quick. The original, 99.4 meg, the entire folder, 99.4 meg, almost 100 meg. Huge. The optimized, 8 meg. <laughs> 8.18 meg is less than 10% of the original, okay? That's what I mean. That is exactly the kind of thing that drives page speeds up from red and yellow to green and green, okay? Which means you're going to outrank more of your competitors because you improved your algorithmic score dramatically, okay? So there you go. I'm going to put that inside there, okay? That way, whenever I go uploading all these uh, images and stuff to the website, I'll keep the original until I know I don't need it for anything. But let's say that this like banner 59 image turned out to be bad, right? For whatever reason, okay, fine. I'm going to go get the banner 59 image from here, copy it, pull it out, and override it. Paste, yeah, sure, replace, okay? And there you go. That way, that one that was somehow fuzzy for reasons unknown um, is back to being normal again, right? While everything else is totally optimized. So everything is optimized that can be optimized. That's the best way of putting it.
Okay. How does it work, by the way, optimization? It just subtracts the channels for colors and stuff. Uh, brightness, contrast, densities, whatever, like all those color channels you see. It subtracts all the ones that are not in use. For example, of 256 colors, are we using them all? No. Of 16,000 semicolors, are we using them all? No. So as it subtracts channels we don't need, right, then we wind up with an image that looks pretty much the same because we just took the empty channels out. But because we bothered to do that, Google will show us higher in the results because some of the websites above us haven't done it. That's how we got down here. By fixing the images, we climb back up, okay, keyword by keyword by keyword. This is one way to perform better on all of your keywords, okay? Just simply because you can outrank the other websites that wind up with a lower algorithmic score compared to you now. You raised your score, so instead of dropping to here, you only drop to here or whatever, but you're way higher than you were. And on many keywords, you might be rising to front pages or the top of front pages, and so you'll get more traffic just by doing this. There you go. There's the tool. And again, all you have to do to register, go to software-installer.com, hit register. I'll bring you here. Just put your info in. If you don't have a coupon code, you can buy one down here and use it to sign up here and just register. Once you're inside the tool, use this information to log in and you're on your way. So there's my promise to you is by the end of this video, you can do this for yourself. All right. By the way, by the way, just to keep from uh, taking up a lot of space, right? Now that you're done with this and you know you're done with this, hit the other button, clear all queue. Okay, that way we're not saving all this stuff inside the system. Clearing the queue clears the memory, right? So that we can start again, but we're not jamming up the memory. That way it stays nice and fast. All right, hope you found this interesting.